Hello everyone, I'm Supreet and I welcome you back on my channel that is Learn English with Supreet. In this video, I'm going to discuss the first story of grade 10. Name of the book is Footprints Without Feet and the name of the story is A Triumph of Surgery. Surgery here doesn't, uh, you know, refer to any kind of operation or any kind of, you know, serious disease and all that. The surgery stands for a veterinary hospital. And we are talking about a dog named Tricky. There is a dog named Tricky. It's a small dog and it is pampered and overfed by his rich mistress. So we are coming across a dog who is owned by a rich mistress. She overfeeds and mollycoddles, pampers means mollycoddle over love and over or over affectionate to somebody or some person or something. So this mistress, she is over affectionate or over loving towards her dog. The name of that dog is Tricky. The dog is overfed by the rich mistress. He falls seriously ill and his mistress consults a wet surgeon. Does he perform an operation? Does the dog recover? This is what we are going to discuss today. So let's start it now. So I'll start the story directly. I was really worried about Tricky this time. Here I stands for the doctor who is a veterinary doctor, a vet. His name is Mr. Harriet. So Mr. Harriet is the vet we are talking about. So he's the narrator of the story. He's telling us, I was really worried about Ricky this time. I had pulled up. Pulled up means halted. Pulled up my car when I saw him in the street with his mistress and I was shocked at his appearance. Now we come to see that when this doctor Mr. Harriet, he comes across this dog Tricky with his mistress in the street. He was quite shocked to see this dog. He was quite shocked at the appearance of dog. He had become hugely fat, very, very fat, like a blotted sausage. Now blotted means puffed up, something which is like puffed up. And sausage, it's a lot of minced meat, minced meat. Now this dog, he was hugely fat, like a puffed up sausage with a leg at each corner. His eyes bloodshot, bloodshot, that means reddened. His eyes were reddened. It's a, you know, sign of disease. His eyes were reddened and roomy. Roomy means, you know, full of, uh, full of that mucus which comes in the eyes. He stared straight ahead and his tongue lolled from his jaws. So you can imagine a dog suffering from serious disease. And we are talking about here, Tricky. Now, Mrs. Pumphrey is the name of the mistress who owns this dog. Mrs. Pumphrey hastened to explain. He was so listless, Mr. Harriet. Listless means restless. He was so listless, Mr. Harriet. He seemed to have no energy. I thought he must be suffering from malnutrition. And now consider how over loving, how blindly loving this lady is toward, towards her dog, that the dog is hugely fat. He's like a blotted sausage. But still Mrs. Pumphrey says that he is suffering from malnutrition. So it is quite ironical and funny to see this. So she says, because he is suffering from malnutrition, I thought so. So I have been giving him some little extras between meals to build him up. To build him up to what extent? Because the dog is already so fat. But this lady who is blind in love, blindly in love with her, you know, pet, with her dog Tricky. She says that she is giving him extra meals so that he can build up like some mauled and cod liver 
oil and a bowl of Horlicks at night to make him sleep. Nothing much really. And if this is nothing much really, then you imagine what, you know, that much really was for her, for that lady. And then Dr. Mr. Harriet, he asked, and did you cut down on the sweet things as I told you? And this lady says, oh, I did for a bit, but he seemed to be so weak. And then this lady time and again, you know, says that he was so weak and all that. So we can well imagine that this lady, she is ruining her own dog. And she says that I had to relent. Relent here means to say that getting softened. She said that I had to soften up. That means I have to be soft toward him. He does love cream cakes and chocolates. So I can't bear to refuse him. So I can't bear to refuse him. So you can say that this lady, she can't even, can't even tolerate, bear means tolerate, to refuse to her dog. And it is the only reason that this dog is suffering from, you know, this being so fat and, you know, full of diseases. But, you know, to our surprise and, you know, it, it adds humor in the story also when we come to see that a hugely fat dog and this lady says that he is suffering from malnutrition. Moving further. Now, this narrator, he says that I looked down again at the little dog. That was the trouble. Tricky's only fault was greed. Tricky was over greedy. He was too, too, too much greedy. He had never been known to refuse food. Whatever was given to him by his mistress, he used to take that. He would tackle a meal at, an, at any hour of the day or night. And I wondered about all the things Mrs. Pumphrey hadn't mentioned. Now see, the doctor also knows Mrs. Pumphrey, that Mrs. Pumphrey, she is over affectionate to her dog. And in over affection, in pampering him, she is destroying his health. She is giving him extra meals. She, she is giving him anything. And this dog, he's too greedy to refuse anything. And that is why he is becoming fat fat and fat day by day. Are you giving him plenty of exercise? Well, this lady says, well, he has his little walks with me, as you can see, but Hodgkin, the gardener, has been down with lumbago. Lumbago is a word which means backache. Backache that affects the lumbar region or the lower back lumbar pain you can also call it the gardener was having some back ache so there has been no ring throwing lately you must have seen you know dogs they play with the ring there is a ring and that ring is thrown and the dogs you know follows chases those rings the dogs chase those rings and you know this is how they exercise but this is not being done because the gardener he is suffering from lumbago the lower back pain now to this, Mr. Harriet, he tried to sound swear. Now I really mean this. If you don't cut his food right down and give him more exercise, he's going to be really ill. And to this, you know, at this, the doctor, Mr. Harriet, he is kind of swear. He warns Mrs. Pumphrey that in case the meal given to Tricky is not cut down and he is not given more exercise, this dog is going to fall seriously ill. And he also suggests Mrs. Pumphrey that she must harden her heart and keep him on a very, very strict diet. So this doctor suggests for a strict diet. Mrs. Pumphrey wrung her hands. Oh, I will. Mr. Harriet, I'm sure you are right, but it is so difficult, so very difficult. She set off, head down, along the road as if determined to put the new regime into practice immediately. Regime here means to say that new orders or, you know, new authorities, she is going to practice immediately.
so mrs pumphrey we come to you know understand from these uh, dialogues between mrs pumphrey and the veterinary doctor you know that this mrs pumphrey she had been warned by the doctor already many a times but she is not following his advice his pieces of advice and uh, you know doctor has last time told her that she had to cut down uh, his meal she had to be little you know strict with him she had to be she had to give him a strict uh, she had to you know keep him on a strict diet and this lady she says that it is so difficult it is so very difficult so this through this dialogue we come to know that how affectionate and how over you know loving and you know pampering this lady is towards dog i watched their progress with growing concern tricky was tottering tottering means to say that you know you must have seen children tottering when they do not know much uh, to walk so they totter totter means to say that you know unable to walk properly so the, uh, so this tricky was unable to walk properly he was tottering unable to walk properly he was tottering along in his little tweed coat and now consider the sort of dresses he is wearing and now see many of the people can't even afford what a dog afforded what a dog could afford and here in this dog he wears tweed coat he had a whole wardrobe of these coats now see for the cold weather and a raincoat for the wet days now this dog he struggled on drooping in his harness whenever you know this harness that rope you know to which he was tied in and the lady she was taking her dog you know back so whenever this harness was a little droop drooped little drooped drooped i hope you understand whenever it was you know somewhat loose the dog was struggling to walk i thought it wouldn't be long before i heard from mrs pumphrey and now this doctor he is quite sure that he is going to hear from mrs pumphrey very soon because this dog is seriously sick now the doctor's expectations those expectations came true the expected call came within a few days mrs pumphrey was distraught that means she was agitated with grief distraught means agitated with grief agitated mrs pumphrey because she loves her dog so much so she was kind of agitated because her dog he was not keeping well and obviously she had to take the advice of uh, you know the uh, doctor this time she had to you know get uh, get her a uh, dog hospitalized so she was feeling distraught she said that tricky would eat nothing he refused even his favorite dishes and besides he had bouts of vomiting that means the dog had been vomiting time and again time and again he had been vomiting he spent all his time lying on a rug panting now you can consider the situation of this dog condition of this dog how serious it is that the dog is dog kept panting and dog kept vomiting because he had been so greedy that he hardly denied anything didn't want to go for walks didn't want to do anything now the condition of tricky is serious the doctor had been called and this time the doctor had to come up with a solution which would last long now the doctor he said that i had made my plans in advance the only way was to get tricky out of the house for a period i suggested that he be hospitalized for about a fortnight to be kept under observation fortnight means a period of 15 days the poor lady almost swooned to hear this Mrs Pumphrey she almost fainted because we already know that how much she loves her dog and living away from her dog for 15 days wouldn't be you know an easy affair affair for her so that is why she fainted she was sure he would pine she was sure that he would pine and die if he did not see her every day pine means yearn yearning to see somebody he would yearn to see her and die you know if he did not see her every day 
but I took a firm line. He took us, you know, I, he took a serious decision. He was so firm and, you know, strong in his uh, firm and strong in his, you know, determination. He said that Tricky was very ill and this was the only way to save him. In fact, I thought it best to take him without delay. And followed by Mrs. Pumphrey's wailings, I marched out to the car carrying the little dog wrapped in a blanket. And Mrs. Pumphrey, she was wailing. She was expressing her grief, sorrow, and you know, this she was lamenting, lamenting. So wailing is expressing sorrow. Expressing sorrow. Mrs. Pumphrey, she was expressing her sorrow because she she herself can't live without her dog for, you know, these many days. So she was kind of crying and she was agitated and she was crying and, you know, her expressing her sorrow, you know. The entire staff of the house, because she's a rich lady, the entire staff was aroused. Maids rushed in and out, bringing his day bed, his night bed favorite cushions, toys and rubber rings, breakfast bowl, lunch bowl, supper bowl. So you can well imagine how pampered this dog is and how much love she pours onto her dog, this, you know, Mrs. Pumphrey. Realizing that my car would never hold all the stuff, I started to drive away. This doctor you know, when he saw that he was quite amazed that this much love, you know, had been given to a dog and this much, you know, affection and these many luxuries that the dog is enjoying. And, you know, because he was aware that all the material which they were bringing time and again, all those mates, he couldn't, you know, carry all the material, you know, in his car because his car, you know, was, you know, small, was not so big to carry all the stuff which Tricky had. So he started to drive off. As I moved off, Mrs. Pumphrey, with a despairing cry, that means hopeless cry, threw an armful of the little coats through the window. I looked in the mirror before I turned the corner of the drive. Everybody was in tears. Everyone, you know, including those maids and the whole staff of the house, they were in tears. Out on the road, I glanced down at the pathetic little animal, animal gasping on the seat by my side. Gasping means to say that he was unable to breathe properly. I patted, I patted the head and the tricky made a brave effort to wag his tail. You know, so poor was the condition of this dog that he was even unable to wag his tail properly. Poor old lad, I said. You haven't a kick in you, but I think I know a cure for you. Now, the doctor, as he already had planned something for Tricky, so, <clears throat> so he's ready with the plan and he knew how to cure him. Now, at the surgery, the household dogs surged around me. All those dogs which are already there, in the you know a house or in the at the at the surgery they surged round him that means to say that they you know moved forward moved forward to meet the master meet the vet tricky looked down at the noisy pack with dull eyes noisy pack that means all those dogs there were so many dogs because it, it was a vet's uh, of a place surgery and when Chiki was put down, he lay motionless on the carpet. The other dogs, after sniffing round him for a few seconds, decided he was an uninteresting object and ignored him because it was the very first time for Tricky to be away from her mistress. So he was also missing her mistress. And secondly, because he was not keeping well, so he was kind of uninterested in his surroundings. All the other dogs who were there, you know, at the surgery already, they were also some sort of uninterested in him. I made up a bed for him in a warm, loose box next to the one where the other dogs slept. For two days, I kept an eye on him, giving him no food but plenty of water. As this vet, he is aware that this dog, be, be, uh, you know, being 
overfed is suffering from indigestion or is suffering from serious diseases he need to burn some fat so that is why the dog was not given anything by the surgeon by this vet for two days at the end of the second day he started to show some interest in his surroundings and on the third day he began to whimper when he heard the dogs in the yard now whimper i hope you can make out whimper is cry uh, you know those low cries which a person makes low and weak cries low as if you know because there is lack of strength so weak and low cries when i opened the door tricky trotted out trotted again because the tricky uh, the tricky he is unable to walk properly because of being ill so he was trotting out and was immediately engulfed by joy the greyhound and his friends all those dogs they came around him and they you know started you know engulfing him after rolling him over and thoroughly inspecting him the dogs moved off down the garden tricky followed them rolling slightly with his surplus fat and tricky you know he had surplus fat when you will read the story in your book you can see the image also the dog looks quite you know comical when we when we have a look at it because it had lots of fat now this tricky he was showing somewhat interest the third day he you know followed all other dogs who were playing in the garden later that day i was present at feeding time i watched while tristan tristan you know might be some worker over there slopped the food into the bowls now sloped mean to say that you know to allow some liquid to run or flow from a container to other sloped slop means to say that you know that means they were given some liquid think all those dogs they were served with some liquid you know there might be some milk and breads and all that but whatever it was so it was you know splattered into the bowls different different bowls there was the usual there was the usual headlong rush followed by sounds of high speed eating every dog knew that if he fell behind the others he was liable to have some competition for the last part of his meal so we see that all those dogs you know who were there they had a competition while eating they used to eat you know so quickly because in case they fell behind others they had to compete for the last part of the meals so there was a competitive spirit that should exist you know in those dogs so there was so much of rush so much of rush when the food was served when they had finished tricky took a walk around the shining bowls licking casually inside one or two of them so obviously when dogs you know take anything from their bowls you know the bowls you know those, those are properly cleaned cleaned by those you know dogs because what they do is they lick whatever the material is there in the bowls they lick it and tricky because he couldn't compete with them that time and there was no extra bowl for him that day you know deliberately the bowl was not put by the you know vet so this tricky he took a walk around the shining bowls and he licked casually inside one or two of them next day an extra bowl was put out for him and i was pleased to see him jostling his way towards him that means jostling means with struggle pushing yourself you know in the crowd and you know going wherever you want to make some place for you so he jostled his way towards the bowl which was set for him from then on his progress was rapid he had no medicinal treatment of any kind but all day he ran about the uh, ran about with the dogs joining in their friendly scrimmages scrimmages means you know those fights and those little fights and you know whatever the dogs do when they are alone when they are in company so you know this progress of tricky was quite rapid than onwards he was not given any medicinal treatment you know all the day he used to run along with other dogs he joined them you know in those friendly fights and this is how he was recovering now this tricky he discovered the joys of being bowled over tram tramped on and squashed every few minutes so these are you know the dog things they do whenever they are like in company 
he became an accepted member earlier he was ignored but then later on he became an accepted member of the gang and unlikely silky little object among the shaggy crew fighting like a tiger for his share at meal times and hunting rats in hunting rats in the old hen house at night he had never had such a time in his life this dog he became an accepted member of the gang and unlikely silky little object among those shaggy shaggy means bushy all those dogs who were there they were having long long hair they were bushy and this one he had little silken hair you know he used to fight like a tiger for his share at the meal time and he used to hunt hunt rats in the old hen house at night so he had he had never had such a time in his life so tricky was enjoying himself you know all, all with the with his you know with these dogs at the surgery and he was recovering also because he had to put in efforts for everything earlier he was you know given everything ready made by the mistress he hardly had to do anything but here in he had to fight for everything like for food and everything so this is how he was recovering in his health all the while mrs pumphrey hovered anxiously in the background ringing a dozen times a day for the latest bulletins now this mrs pumphrey we already know that she was quite concerned about her dog she was over affectionate to him so obviously for her living without her dog was something you know so so scary and so you know difficult an experience that she kept calling at the surgery time and again she used to call them time and again for you know the latest news about the dog and this narrator i dodged the questions about whether his cushions were being turned regularly or his correct coat worn according to the weather because you know this mistress she was over concerned and this doctor he dodged dodged mean to say that he evaded those questions he did not answer those questions but he directly tried to evade them evade means to say that not to give any response to something rather you know try to divert somebody's attention from that he dodged the questions about whether his cushions were being turned regularly or his correct coat worn according to the weather but i was able to tell her that the little fellow was out of danger and convalescing rapidly convalescing means to say that recovering so this dog was recovering and this was this gave a sigh of relief to this lady she used to heave a sigh of relief whenever she heard that the dog is convalescing because for her he was not a dog only for her it was something she loved the most the word convalescing seemed to do something to mrs pumphrey she started to bring round fresh eggs two dozen at a time to build up tricky strength and now see again she started off with the same thing she started to bring round fresh eggs two dozen at a time so that those eggs could be used to build up tricky's strength to increase tricky's strength she used to be bring those eggs and you know this doctor obviously as i told you this doctor was not giving those eggs to him rather he was taking those eggs himself and you know along with this you know, this other partners or other members over there for a happy period my partners and i had two eggs each for breakfast but when the portals of wine began to arrive the real possibilities of the situations began to dawn on the household now dawn here means you say that came to their thinking or came to light or came to their understanding dawn at different different meanings here it means it came to their understanding you know later on earlier mrs pumphrey she was sending only eggs but later on she started sending bottles of wine and you know when this crew when when people the persons working over there at the surgery they came to know about it now they could understand the real possibilities of the situation that there there are more of such things would would be like which would be coming to them and they would be using so again this fine also they were not giving it to the dog rather they were taking it on their own it was to enrich tricky's blood lunch became a ceremonial occasion with two glasses of wine before and several during the meal and now see it was not tricky who was given this you know wine rather they were taking you know that you know uh, along with their lunch and any other meal time 
so they were enjoying themselves and they were praying that tricky you know stays there for long we could hardly believe it when the brandy now see mrs pamphrey she went to this extent now we can well imagine you know what sort of things this tricky was given by the lady and you know when this brandy came to put a final edge on tricky's constitution body for a few nights the fine spirit was rolled around inhaled and reverently drunk reverently means with due respect so brandy because it is something so expensive so that is why they were giving it respect and they were taking it respectfully those doctors they were not giving it to tricky anyway so they were enjoying themselves but it was not told to mrs pumphrey they were days of deep content content being satisfaction the doctors doctor and his friends over there or you can say that colleagues over there were quite satisfied they were content they starting well with the extra egg in the morning they used to have extra egg in the morning because they were not giving any egg to you know pumphrey uh, this sorry tricky improved and sustained by the midday wine they used to take midday wine and finishing luxuriously around the fire with the brandy so you can see that you know uh, in the name of tricky how much enjoyment this doctor you know had it was a temptation to keep tricky on as a permanent guest the doctor was quite tempted and others they were tempted to keep tricky on as a permanent guest because it would be bringing them more eggs to eat or wine to drink and that you know brandy that you know luxurious brandy to take along with meals but i knew mrs pumphrey was suffering and after a fortnight felt compelled to phone and tell her that the little dog had recovered and was awaiting collection and you know this doctor he never wanted to but he was compelled to tell her like after 15 days because he took the time of 15 days and he told her that the dog had recovered and he was awaiting collection within minutes about 30 feet of gleaming black metal drew up outside the surgery a very very luxurious car the chauffeur chauffeur means driver of the car a hired driver chauffeur is the hired driver by somebody opened the door and i could just make out the figure of mrs pumphrey almost lost in the interior her hands were tightly clasped in front of her her lips trembled oh mr harriet do tell me the truth is he really better she is so much concerned about her you know dog she asked the doctor you know is her doctor really better and the doctor said yes he is fine there's no need for you to get out of the car i'll go and fetch him and the doctor went and he brought tricky I walked through the house into the garden a mass of dogs was hurtling round and round the lawn and in their midst ears flapping tail waving was the little golden figure of tricky so tricky he himself was waiting for his mistress to come because obviously he was so much loved by his mistress so he himself was missing missing her and uh, other dogs they were hurtling that means moving with you know those rushing sounds moving with those rush rushing sounds in two weeks he had been transformed into a light 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 is a very important word over here because earlier when the dog came he was plump he was too fat but now he's converted he is converted into transformed into a light light is somebody or something which is gracefully thin gracefully thin so now this dog was gracefully thin he was not fat any more he was not hugely fat or like a sausage or a blotted sausage he was gracefully thin now and a hard muscled animal he was keeping up well with the pack with the other dogs the pack means other dogs stretching out in great bounds his chest almost brushing the ground that means now the dog was all fine i carried him back along the passage to the front of the house the chauffeur was still holding the car door open and when tricky saw his mistress he took off from my arms in a tremendous leap leap means jump with a big jump he jumped from his arms he took off from his arms and sailed into mrs pumphrey's lap 
she gave a startled oh and then had to defend herself as he swarmed over her licking her face and barking and now we can see that both of them they met both the lovers met <laughs> during the excitement i helped the shopper to bring out the beds toys cushions coats and bowls none of which had been used as the car moved away mrs pumphrey leaned out of the window tears shone in her eyes her lips trembled oh mr harriet she cried how can i ever thank you this is the triumph of surgery so this is how the story comes to an end it is written by james harriet so this story brings to fore the condition of a pet who is overfed and over pampered and over loved by his mistress the dog develops diseases the dog has become like a you know blotted sausage quite puffed up quite fat hugely fat rather and in spite of many warnings given by dr harriet wet harriet james harriet this lady is not you know cutting short the meals given to him you know though the doctor uh, this, though the, this dog tricky is hugely fat but still you know it seems to mrs pumphrey to be you know uh, suffering from malnutrition it is quite comical so eventually this dog had to be hospitalized in those 15 days the dog had to do some physical labor had to fight for you know getting food and uh, you know was enjoying himself with the other pack of dogs and he was like hunting for eggs during the night time so he was not giving anything extra which mrs pumphrey was sending time and again so this dog recovered because the diet was you know somewhat cut short so this is how the story comes to an end now for you now this is tricky and you are to fill all the you know blanks over here the first one is what are the diseases that this tricky is suffering from and what are the reasons or the reason what is the reason of this disease how about the time spent in surgery by tricky and treatment at surgery what kind of treatment was given at surgery what about the first day at surgery and what kind of treatment was given to tricky at home now what about the nature of the mistress of tricky what about tricky's nature and what about what are doctors views now if we talk about you know we'll start it from here mistress nature mistress is over affectionate towards her dog she overfeeds him she overpampers him if we talk about nature of tricky nature of tricky is he is quite greedy he says no to no to nothing he takes everything whatever is you know fed to him he takes that doctors views are you know the diet of tricky should be strict you know many of the items given to tricky should be cut off should be cut off so that you know he could recover now the treatment at home i already told you he was given quite affectionate and quite you know he was quite a pampered dog he was given every luxury and everything to eat and everything to drink so that is why he was he became like a blotted sausage now the disease is basically this dog is unable to walk you know he is he's got rheumy eyes bloodshot eyes reddened eyes and he can't even walk properly all the time he pants he suffers from bouts of vomiting he had bouts of vomiting later on he you know develops disliking for any kind of food so that is why he was hospitalized first day at the surgery when we talk about the first day at surgery he was not so much interested he you know uh, was uninterested and you know other dogs were also somewhat uninterested and uninterested so after 2 3 days he started taking interest in his surroundings now the treatment at the surgery he was not given any medicine rather he was given no food for first two days but only water then he was given food you know according to the schedule in time only he was not giving anything extra with proper food and with proper exercise and as the dog was playing around with other dogs so this is how he recovered time spent at the surgery if we talk about this time spent at the surgery only helped this dog come out of those diseases come out of that being you know so fat and all that he became lithe you know and at the end and this is how he was returned to his mistress I hope you'd like this video and uh, many of your doubts and you know much of the content has been you know covered in the story or you know more notes on this or anything in case you have to ask you can reach me on my blog that is Supreet Deol blogspot or you can write to me on my mail id Supreet Deol ninety two at the rate gmail dot com keep watching keep learning subscribe my channel that is learn English with Supreet thank you so much.